Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. I want to thank all of you for sending some Bitcoin over and the Monero was very much appreciated. Uh, it was, I had said I hadn't received the Monero yet and then it arrived. So thanks a lot for the guy who introduced me to Monero and thanks for sending the Monero. Remember to subscribe to this channel, spread the word, retweet, etc. Vinny Lingham who I often talk about here, came out with a new article today about super wealthy people buying Bitcoin. And it's very interesting and I will link to it. It's called the 1% don't use Bitcoin exchanges. Now the mere fact that super wealthy individuals are buying large amounts, like over a thousand Bitcoin amounts of Bitcoin, um, that is, and then they're hoarding it. They're not. They're not flipping it. It's great. It's just. It's just great news. This was something that was not happening back in 2013 when we hit that other all-time high, and it shows just how much Bitcoin is accepted now. And it's a great argument against the people who say that Bitcoin is just Beanie Babies, a, a fad like a Beanie Baby. It's, it's clearly not. Incredibly wealthy people are buying large amounts of it. So let's let's look into that. Um, the Brexit has made more super wealthy people interested in buying Bitcoin. Now, when they buy the Bitcoin, uh, it doesn't change the price on the, the exchange because they're buying it over the counter. They're buying it from a dealer. So does this mean there's a hidden demand? And the reason they don't go to the exchange is it would just boost up. They couldn't get it for a reasonable price on the exchange. It would, it, everyone would all of a sudden see, oh, there's incredible demand, what's going on? Um, so is, there is a hidden demand here of some sort from these very, very wealthy people buying it over the counter. And it's probably not showing up yet. We have, in the market. We have examples of increased demand by this over-the-counter example, uh, the Australian Bitcoin auction, which we eagerly await to see how many people won that and maybe how much they paid. At the same time uh, that we have, definitely have increased demand, we have a de de decrease in supply examples. Uh, the halving, which is coming up in July, remember we have to spread Pound having hype, pound having hype. Spread it on uh, on Twitter. It's not over yet. We still have, it's still not July 11th. The fact that more people are buying Bitcoin in different ways now, that's decreasing the supply. And the volume on exchanges is inflated. And so the supply is really less than what we think it is from just looking at the exchanges. So we, I say we don't know what the real supply is on the open market. And uh, in order to calculate you know, the real price, we need the real supply and real demand. And I'm trying to say here that this, this risk people buying uh, Bitcoin is just another example of increased demand, decreased supply. So what will happen when the markets really figure out the true supply and the demand after the halving. Just, just think about it. So this is another bullish sign. Uh, and it's a bullish sign that the demand and the supply aren't known. And it's, and it's a very uh, bullish supply that very wealthy people are buying Bitcoin. So I'm Adam Meister, the Disrupt Meister. I'll talk to you later.